have all of your personal belongings before deplaning. This is my long-awaited return to Aix-en-Provence, France, where I studied abroad in 2017. We originally booked this as our late honeymoon after the wedding, and then we had to reschedule, and by this time it happened to turn into a baby moon. So it was a very special trip. Here we are, back at the Cité Utecouc. Definitely been a um, blast to the past. Just been telling Nathan all my stories. So crazy. I told him it makes me feel young again. I went to um, Columbus, of course, my old spot. Yesterday was the first day that we arrived and we kind of just did a, a quick little walk. But today I was like, okay, I need to challenge myself to try to, obviously I need to take the lead, but it's too easy to default speaking English because most people around here, especially in shops, will just speak English to you if you're <laughs> struggling. I'm trying to teach Nathan. I'm like, say parlez-vous anglais. <laughs> but uh, I was like, nope, I'm going to try to order in French. I used to go to Columbus like all the time. And that's where I would try to order my little cafe glacé. So I got my little frappe. Oat milk, vanilla. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> I don't think I remember this beer in here, but good for them. A little, a little gym action. But yeah, it was funny. I tried to order our orders in French and the employee switched to English and I just kept pushing. I was like, you know what? You gotta practice. That's the tough part, but it's fun. I miss it. I was also telling Nathan about the video I made with Harmony of like my first impressions here because I found that note in my phone and it was obviously very surface level. Some ignorant little statements in there like, oh, why is there dog poop on the sidewalk? It's like, okay. But yeah, it's crazy because I remember arriving in France with like 75,000 subscribers. And I was very excited about that. And then I made that video with Harmony and it blew up. It got like close to a million views, I think. And I remember like in that video, I happened to be wearing like red lipstick and like eyeliner, which I don't usually wear, but I was trying to look cute. <laughs> and then Harmony just looked like natural and beautiful and all the comments were like see look at this classic french woman she's so effortless and then look at the american trying too hard and i was like fair but i'm really glad that the reception toward harmony was good a little too good because people were like noticing her and i guess being weird <laughs> but yeah that video popping off helped my channel grow that was right toward the end of my semester then i hit a hundred thousand and that was 2017 wow what are your impressions beautiful beautiful yeah it's really Really nice, especially for a dorm, especially for how affordable it is. The student housing, at least. So we're doing my little commute to campus. We just tried to get to the Sufa building, and there are fences now, and you need ID access. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me in. I'm like, what, you guys have security now? Boo. <laughs> so we're trying to go a long way around. I was just hoping I could see the building. But I'm also looking for somewhere to use a bathroom. It's a great campus. Good old Fran Prix. Oh my god. I'll never forget. There was a day that I was filming like a, a day in my life vlog with Casey. Yeah. And we came here to the wine. And there was like a... <laughs> I think there was like a buy two, get one free. And my dumbass just bought two. And I was like, I don't need the third one. And everyone in the comments <laughs> was like... Why would you do that? I think it was because I was carrying everything home and just didn't want three bottles. I had to buy another bag to keep and cherish forever. <laughs> we got the disposables, we're going. Just kidding. <laughs> Good morning. It is 10:30 on Sunday. I was up until 3 a.m. finishing my blondness video. Before we left for this trip, I thought I would be able to make this whole video in like four days, which obviously is not possible. A main channel video usually takes me like two weeks, but I was able to crunch 
and I did like eight hours of work yesterday, but a lot of that was like nighttime into the wee hours. And now, yeah, just gotta finish up the last bits, but we're going into Marseille today. I'm excited because I only spent like one weekend in Marseille when I studied here. So I really haven't seen that much of it and I don't really remember too much. And today we booked a, a locals guide. It's called like an urban hike through the city, which I'm like, hike, oh no. But I don't think it's gonna be that intense and I'm really excited because apparently the guide is just very knowledgeable about all sorts of fun facts, history, food, politics, architecture, urban planning. I'm like, yes, that's my shit. So yeah, it's gonna be good. We just need to make sure we like dress and pack accordingly. My legs are already so sore because of pregnancy. I like have barely been walking or leaving the house for like a good, eight weeks. So like obviously the last few days I've been getting like 10 to 15,000 steps. It's been really nice. And thankfully I've been feeling good. Second trimester coming through. I'm like, wow, I feel like a normal person again. This is crazy. But yeah, right now I'm very hungry. I still do have to eat like literally first thing in the morning. So I already ate a Medlen, but we're gonna go get some coffee. Nathan is addicted to cafe au lait. My espresso, my macchiato. <laughs> macchiato. <laughs> I got my frappe, got the goods. Now we need to hurry. And to Marseille. Marseille. Nathan's been very impressed by my French. I've been gaining some confidence. I ordered our breakfast very well. <laughs> I keep laughing because again, that's like very basic. But for some reason I always get intimidated at Columbus or just ordering coffee in general. I think there's so many um, changes to be made and then I keep forgetting the word for oat milk, lait d'avoine. I used to get lait de soja, you know? It's very windy today, so I've got to dress well, because Marseille is going to be chilly. Marseille! Um, and um, the thing with the cruise ship is that they, are, they need to stay the engine on during the day, even mm. if they are docks, because in there they are the kitchen, so they need energy. Let me stroll! Wind is high! So then you are now in the fisherman village and the fisherman net makers village. Wow. I mean, this job has disappeared now because it's made in Nile. You see the boat with the little wheel there in front of them? And this is our charming chaos. <laughs> charming chaos, I'm <laughs> sorry. What we like in Paris, and it's very elegant, very harmonious, you know, very uniform. This is the mess. <laughs> Everybody can do what he wants. <laughs> But I'm sure, are there limitations on construction? There are some, uh, so, so there are limitations, but there are less, we are very used to not respect the rules in Marseille. Very used. <laughs> this is our thing, you know, because people consider that the city belongs to them. And we are, we are, be, the city belongs to us. We are finally back at the hotel. We ended up taking a taxi because I couldn't bear to wait at the train station. My legs are like jelly. I've taken 21,500 steps today. My toes are squished. Anyway, it was a good day. I'm just so tired. I'm ready to like, I'm ready to take a hot shower, eat pizza, lay down. I'm vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of am. I'm like, you have to walk to get the pizza though. Good luck. Oh, I have shin splints. That's what's really hurting. But like my legs, there were so many stairs, so many hills. Marseille, you did it. Also, I've been laughing at this every time I wash my hands because I did not know it was real. I thought Vervain was made up by the Vampire Diaries. Morning, morning. I just saw this on my shoe and I was like, oh, what is that? I look inside and I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh no. What the fuck happened? I can't tell what's going on here. I'm scared. Maybe his skin ripped. Oh my God. Merci. Look how terrifying these look. Oh, 
You look like you're really thinking. <laughs> what are you thinking about? I could ever have a garden like this. <laughs> Do you prefer a, a French garden or an English garden? I believe French ones are a lot more symmetrical and English like to have those be more wild. Tell me now, which garden would you prefer? That's great, that's great. <laughs> oh. oh my God, how could I? American foot would go. <laughs> no. And they'd be able to tell. They'd find my, my shoe prints. Wow. Magnifique, am I right? Bonjour, nous sommes ici à la l'hôtel Comment. Um, Comment allez-vous? Ça va? Je m'appelle Tiffany et je pense que les dauphins sont, um, comment dit-on, terrifying. Merci, au revoir. Oh, Excusez-moi, ce n'est pas possible. Huh? La voiture? Oh. <laughs> Just saying French things to put in the vlog. Make it more authentic. J'ai faim, donc je cherche pour des empanadas. Let's get the goods. Mmm, okay, okay. Ooh, they have some sweet ones. That's crazy. Mmm. <laughs> this is such an ugly video. <laughs> I'm trying to film my hot dog, but it looks ugly. I only have one head. Oh wow, look at that. Sun. Hey. These are mocktails, obviously. This is our nighttime routine. Oh my god. I look tired. We have a little soda in the lobby. Just lounging. Rainy day. Heading up to Paris soon. I am so hungry. It's painful. Pre-pregnancy, I would never feel uh, hunger pains, and I feel them immediately first thing in the morning. Sometimes in the middle of the night, and I have to eat a snack. But we're rushing because we have to go to the Tejo Bay station. I haven't had my coffee. Oh no. Bye. 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 B